Valley of Torment. Valley of Torment. I once read a book full of legends surrounding Aeolo, but I can't seem to remember. I feel there's something dreadful I'm forgetting. Listen, Aeolo, the Valley of Torment, lies on the border of three noble territories. The Kingdom's Fraldarius and Galatea families, and the Alliance's Daphno family. Incidentally, the Galatea family was originally an offshoot from the Daphno family. Well, I can't believe it. The Valley of Torment. I'd heard of it, but I never expected to go there. It's exciting. I wonder what the landscape is like. It probably is dangerous, but I still want to get there and see it as soon as I can. Related by blood, but Randolph was still my uncle. Seeing him end up that way was... Never mind. It's nothing. This wasn't just about war. It was a grudge. Or are you gonna tell me you're on Dimitri's side? <sighs> I'm sure he never trusted me, being born in the Empire and all. again. Hello there. Return soon, please. Listen. Ayo, the incident. One? You're all set. See you again soon. Our 
I would like. I, I, I would like. Just no matter. Just. I've really now like Let me ask you something. I see. That might work. Professor. I don't see a problem. Yes, let's do our best. Mission complete. All that work was worth it. I'm a quick study. when we were shopping? If so, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Not so fast. I haven't properly apologized yet. So, I'm sorry. I just... I got scared. Imagine if something bad happened to you because of me. Mercy. You would have just run away if you were on your own, wouldn't you? Instead, you acted defensively because I was there. I dragged you down. Mercy, you're upsetting me! How dare you say that you dragged me down! You know why I was acting so recklessly? Because I wanted to protect my best friend in the whole world! Annie... Do you remember when we first enrolled at the Academy? It seemed like everyone was leagues ahead of us and so far out of reach. I felt completely hopeless. But because you were there, I didn't lose hope. So... Don't say stupid things about how you drag me down, or how you don't deserve things. Thank you for saying that. And again, I'm sorry. You're just so important to me. I know I could never find another friend like you. You stayed by my side through thick and thin. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. Mercy, can we be friends again? Of course, Annie. Friends forever. <laughs> Good. I don't know what I would have done if we hadn't found a way to make up. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. No, I'm the one who should have stopped being so stubborn and said something. <laughs> you know, now that everything's as it should be, I'm suddenly starving. <laughs> That's just like you. Come, let's go for tea. Oh, let's! <laughs> And we should have some mercy baked sweets on the side. I think I love you more than just about anything in the world. You do? Oh, Annie, you're too sweet. Not as sweet as your baking. I love your baking more than anything in the world, too. Other than you. 
Well, I'm always happy to bake for you, Annie. <sighs> I'm so happy to have you bake... Uh, back? <laughs> Goodness, Hilda, you look worried. Is something the matter? Oh, Mercedes. I was on my way to the greenhouse to water the flowers. But I have a meeting with the professor right now, so I'll have to be quick. It must be urgent to call you at this hour of the morning. Go see what the professor needs from you. I can take care of the flowers. Oh, are you sure? Thank you so much. It's no problem at all. Let me take the water from you. Thank you again. I'll see you at lunch. Right. I'm off. Oops. My meeting with the professor was tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Mercedes. Hmm. Still no Mercedes. All she had to do was water a few plants. I didn't think it would take this much time. It's almost noon. Maybe I'll go see what she's up to. And that's the last of that. Perfect. What's taking you so long? Oh, Hilda. Is your meeting with the professor over already? Um, yes. It's almost lunchtime. What are you still doing here? Lunchtime? I hadn't realized how late it was. After watering the flowers, I noticed that the greenhouse was in need of some tidying. I must have gotten a bit carried away. It's so pleasant working in here. Oh, pleasant. Sure. You're such a kind person. No, no. It was my pleasure. Anyway, shall we head to the dining hall? <sighs> I should have just done it myself. Waiting for her was so exhausting. What was that, Hilda? Come along, I'm hungry. Uh, coming. What should we eat? <sighs> That's enough. You're done for today. Right. Thanks. Are you feeling pain anywhere, Leonie? No. Sorry, I'm alright. Why are you apologizing? Because I can't hold my own against you. And on top of that, you have to worry about hurting me. I feel like I've let you down. Do you know what I meant when I said, you're done for today? Probably that I was about to keel over. No. It wasn't about your physical strength. I could tell that you didn't have the will to keep fighting. I've got plenty of will. No matter what I do, I can't win. Isn't that what you were thinking? If you think you can't win, you won't. <laughs> Perhaps you already knew that. Good point. But never assume that you'll win. That is, don't underestimate your foe. At all times, you have to keep a clear head to make split-second decisions. In battle, mistakes are deadly. But I don't have a crest, or a relic. How could I ever hope to beat you? If you put it like that, I'll fight barehanded, and I won't use my crest. Think you can win? Do your worst. Oh dear, I might have overdone it there. But I believe in her. I would be doing her a disservice if I pulled any punches. It's Leone, after all. She'll be back on her feet and charging at me before I know it.
Professor, Mercedes, what are you two doing here? Um, we were just talking. Why do you look so flustered? Haven't you heard? An Imperial army was spotted near Garrig Mach. Oh, do you think they came to scout? Maybe. We could probably take care of them if that's the case. But I heard the Death Knight is out there. The Death Knight. Nothing, really. Now's probably not the time, but I was just thinking of my brother. You have a brother? Yes, but we have different fathers. He was a year younger than me. Why'd he suddenly come to mind? You see... Quickly, you must prepare for battle. The Death Knight has been spotted in the sealed forest. He only has a few troops with him, so we planned on taking him out with just the knights, but we can't guarantee that reinforcements won't arrive. We would appreciate your backup, just in case. The Death Knight. I have to go. Mercedes, wait! I don't know what's going on with you, but... No, I have to go see him. Yeah, we can't let him get away. I'll help Mercedes find the Death Knight. You go gather the others and meet up with us, Professor. I am grateful. Thank you. My thank you so much! Oh, wow, thanks! Thank you. Searching for so long. I finally caught up with you, Mercedes. You're faster than you look. But I'm here now, so you can give up, Death Knight. my strategy. I'm your girl. I'll crush them all. My orders? Ready when you are. I will prevail. Shall we? Onward! Onward. Let's clean up. Put me in. At your service. Flee, and I will not chase you. Challenge me. 
and I will have no choice but to fight. Must lead them well. Let's clean up. Onward! Put me in there. At your service. Let's clean up. Shall we? Onward. Put me in there. At your service. My orders? Crush them all. I'm your girl. I will prevail. You are in my way! Great 
job. Ready when you are. What's my strategy? All is going to plan. Forgiveness. Let's clean up. <laughs> Feels good to fight for our cause. Not I'm your girl. What's my strategy? Shall we? I'll crush them all. Ready when you are. Word. My orders? My orders? I will prevail. We can't be careless. Tragic end. Put me in there. 